All right, welcome to a Finance of Freddy's video. This is um being recorded um after the fact, like I'm adding the um uh, talking after. So you're still gonna get the um noise of the game, Jess. I could not win this for the life of me when I was talking. I don't know why. I mean, it's the first night, and I still somehow ended up losing whenever I tried to talk and do it at the same time. Always ran out of power. So yeah, this time I am recording the talking after the fact, so I'm recording the video, and then recording it again, this time I'm using the voice. So I guess I'm basically just talking. Yeah, I'm playing for nice friends, since the first video has 75 views, it's one of my most popular video. And it's, it's really good. I guess it's mostly because while the new Ruin DLC came out for FNAF Security Breach, the Finance of Freddy's movie is coming out in October. Maybe people are just trying to get back in the spirit of FNAF. That's really what I'm thinking. Out of that, or FNAF is just that popular? Who knows? Who knows? I'm guessing it's just that popular. Then again, I, I don't really know. I don't. At all. No. Sorry if I'm talking a bit too loud. I just want to make sure that I'm loud enough that you guys can hear me. And you can also hear the game at the same time. I have no clue how loud this is actually going to be. I guess I can also commentate about the game. As well as I can, uh... Really just tell you that more easily. So basically, in the first Final Fantasy Freddy's game, you have two doors, which makes sense. A camera system, and if you, you must check on Foxy the Pirate, Pirate's Code, and monitor the animatronics while they're going towards your office. For instance, Bonnie goes to the dining area, the back room, the um, room closet, the west hall, the west hall corner. Chica goes from the show stage to the dining area, to the bathrooms, to um, the kitchen, or something the kitchen first, or even the East Hall first, into the East Hall corner, or sometimes she'll just go to your door. Freddy, I don't know, I haven't gotten there yet. Uh, this is, I haven't recorded night two yet. If this video does well, I'll record night two. I mean, I'll probably do it either way, but if it goes really well, I'll record this night two first. And if I remember correctly, there's also a custom night where you can put everything on 20. And basically the goal is, if I get to a certain amount of use in total, let's say a total of all these videos, um, 50 views for, in total for all videos, so there should be 5 to 6 videos. Oh yeah, look at that as well. Endo's standing up and staring at the, um, camera, and so is the Bonnie Mouse. Which I thought was cool. Anyways, back to what I was saying, um, yeah, so if all the videos in total will get 50 views or more, then I will do, um, I'm pretty sure it's a custom night for this, we can set everything to 20, I'll do that. Uh -huh, and there body goes to the dining area. Now, sometimes I've noticed that Foxy the Pirate comes out on night one, like, just peeks his head out. But he's never been able to jump scare me. Like, he'll peek his head out and he'll just disappear. I'm thinking that's like the Endo thing, like, he can't physically kill you. Because in, in the first game, Endo 1 will just stand up, sit down, and stare at the camera. And number 2, he'll go to the left fence and stay there, blocking any other animatronic going there. So actually, it's probably a good thing to get Endo 2 in the second game. Although, I do say that FNAF 2 is probably the weakest out of the series. Like, FNAF 3 has a sort of a cool thing, FNAF 1 does. In FNAF 2, all they did was give them the doors, add a mask that's only used in that one game. Because FNAF 3, they stuck with the fact that you don't have any doors. But they added some more stuff. FNAF 4, that's just cool and whatnot. Uh, FNAF Security Breach is the glitchiest game ever, apparently. And what I've seen of people play it, it's really glitchy. I watched a YouTuber try to complete the 
game without seeing a single glitch. And every time he did, he restarted from a certain point in the game. It took them quite a while to actually win. Like a really long time, that game is really glitchy. I've heard that Ruin is not as glitchy. Like, there's still glitches, but they fixed most of it. If only they could use that sort of, like, Ruin. Because I'm pretty sure Ruin's actually bigger than the normal map. It's like two maps stacked on top of me and the bottom of each other. There's I'm pretty sure there's one that's one got Reef Skater's um, area. Huge. But just as big as like, the normal map or not, or something like that. Then they also have the virtual world, which is probably just even bigger. Because I'm pretty sure it takes you to like a different part of the map. The virtual world area. area. So if they could do like sort of a get rid of a few of the glitches in the normal game. A FNAF security breach, I'm sure that the FNAF community would love that. Or and the speedrunner would probably hate it. Speedrunners would definitely hate the fact that uh the glitches would be taken out. Although you can still stand inside of an object and take off the fanny mask and teleport outside the map, just you can't get too far with it. Because they sort of have a zone that will just teleport you back in case you do do that. Which I think is a brilliant idea. I'm sure most people don't like that. They're like, ah, oh, come on, just let me jump out of the map. But I, I think that's a good conclusion. I'm glad they did that. So there's no, there's no, um, camera in the kitchen, only audio, which means you can hear Chica knocking over all the pots and pans. Well, I need to know that Chica is in the kitchen. Also, speaking of FNAF Ruin DLC, you can hear, this is a bit of a spoiler, unfortunately. Not really, yeah, it's a bit of a spoiler. For the rest of this episode, it's gonna be a little bit of spoilers. Not too long, though. Only until the end of it. So yeah, you've been warned. If you don't want the spoilers, just leave the video now. Alright, all the people who didn't want the spoilers have left. Basically, in FNAF, you can repair at the FNAF Ruin DLC. You can um, repair Chica's voice box. And you can find Montgomery Gator's link. Now, what if there is, like, a... Um, Secret ending compared to all the animatronics. I think that would be cool. I think that would be really cool. Because, like, you already have Chica's voice box. You already have Montgomery Gator's legs in the virtual world. And I guess Roxanne's eyes could, I don't know, maybe take Bonnie's eyes, because Bonnie's dead. Maybe you can take his eyes or something. Those, these are just my ideas. I think that would be cool. But then again, I do, I do sort of think that the ending where you fall down the elevator, again, this is spoilers. I said there'd be spoilers from the FNAF Ruin DLC. Um, the ending where you fall down the elevator, I'm pretty sure that one is canon. 100% sure. Although it's, it could be not. I just believe that it probably is the correct ending. It's about to turn 6 a.m. in a little while. In the game, not in real life. In real life, it's already past 6 a.m. On the time I'm um, re-talking over this. Because I recorded this yesterday. The day before this is posted, I recorded this. The day that this is posted is the day I'm going to update the voicing for it. I'm also planning on doing some Civilization video and um, another Darkest Dungeons 2 continuing, I think, where we left off. I don't think we've died yet. But yeah, I think, FNAF, I think FNAF Ruin is more of like an intro into some second game. But that will be it for today's video. Goodbye.